So today I have a really cool video of how to set up an automated print process. And I wanna show you exactly how I do this. Now there's two things I wanna tell you up front. First, you need a free account with White House Custom Color. If you don't already use them as a printer, ooh, they're so good. They're possibly one of the best printers online. It takes about a couple days to get set up with them and I'll show you why in just a second. But also we're gonna be using a website builder called Pixba, which is my new favorite website builder. It's very comparable to Squarespace. If you wanna try it out, there's a 15 day free trial link in the description box below. If you do buy it and use my discount code, I think you save like 10% off of your uh, product cost. Right now I'm paying about nine bucks a month for my plan, so maybe you can look into it as well. But this is kind of a long video today, so let's hop into what you get from White House Custom Color. This is another reason that I like White House Custom Color is because they will send you one of these really cool welcome packages. You get 10 8 by 10 inch prints for free, as well as this nice little collection here. It has a bunch of their different uh, products that you might want to use for photo. So they have a bunch of different types of cards envelopes and papers. They have a bunch of different print papers from their luster to their mat. You can also be able to fill these textures. Uh, there's one in particular called soft mat that I'm in love with. They have the thick double weighted cards and the cool part is on the back of these things. They'll actually tell you, you know, a little bit about the product as well as what products you can make with this particular setup. So a really cool little welcome package that you don't really see from a lot of other online printers and all this is totally free. So even if you don't want to go through the rest of the process of this video, go sign up for White House Custom Color, get yourself five eight by 10 inch prints, sell these puppies for $25 a piece, and you've already made yourself some profits. But as I said, today's video is a little bit long. It's about, probably could be close to 20 minutes, but I go through everything that I have done to fully automate my print, uh, printing and shipping process, and that you can replicate that as well. I'm a very busy person, so I don't have time to review any orders as they're coming through. I do want to get to that point eventually, but managing all the different things I do, it makes it really tough. But without further ado, let's hop into the computer and check out how I fully automate my printing process. Okay, so we do have quite a bit to go over today, but I'm going to try to make this as seamless and as easy and as quick as possible. So here's what the finalized product is going to look like on the Pixpa website. Yours may look a little bit different depending on the theme that you've selected, how you've got your website set up and stuff like that. But essentially when you have one of these e-commerce galleries, it's gonna list all your images. You can also control this grid format. This is just the one that I personally like, but you can make that look different to suit your own needs. But if a client comes by and decides they wanna buy one of these prints, we'll just go ahead and click on one. They'll be able to bring up a full size image so that way they can really inspect it and see if it's something they want. They can actually click through these different images to see which one they might want to add to it or, you know, whatever. So once they get that complete, all they have to do is click buy and it's going to bring up all the product options that we set up on the back end. And I'll show you in just a moment. Now, if you aren't uploading your images at a high enough resolution for this, it's not going to show up here and we'll also get to that. But now before any of this stuff starts, the first thing you have to do is go to White House Custom Color or just whcc.com. Go ahead and sign up with an account because as I showed you in the beginning of the video, they are going to send you a welcome package, which is super awesome. You get five 8x10 prints for free as well as the rest of the welcome kit to test out papers and other products. Something I've never seen a print lab really do before and I think it's great. Now it might take you one to two days to really be able to get your account information to log into here. So just be patient because you will not be able to do what I'm about to show you until your White House Custom Color uh, account is set up and approved. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we're gonna jump back into Pixpa and I wanna show you exactly how this works. So here on my main dashboard, I have all these different options, but what I'm gonna do is go down to uh, e-commerce here. I'm not gonna be using client galleries because I don't know, I, I no longer do weddings or senior photos or anything like that. But if you are a photographer that does, apply the same concepts I'm doing in the e-commerce gallery to your client galleries. And you can create all these galleries for your different clients so they can review their photos, they can purchase prints, they can download, whatever you wanna set them up to do. 
But what we're focused on today is simply e-commerce because I like to sell landscape photos. And the first thing that we have to do is go into our print lab section here at the very bottom and you're gonna find the White House custom color section. Once you get your account approved, you just go in here, click manage or connect account, whatever you need to do. And there should be an option here that says activate or uh, connect my account. You click on that, walk through the process and you're good to go. Now you have a couple of different options here and I wanna talk about these two first and then I'll go back up to this disclaimer. So you have two options, either automatic fulfillment or to review orders. And to put it quite simply, with automatic fulfillment, you basically set everything up on your store exactly as I have. You put in your pricing, you put up the photos, and you don't have to do anything else other than to market your images and try to drive traffic so that people are actually purchasing these. Now, when you do this, you have to upload the full resolution file at 300 DPI because it's actually gonna pull from the file that you upload to make your print. So for example, I know that I wanna print as big as a 36 inches on the longest edge of every single photo. So when I export my photo from Lightroom, I will export by the longest edge, 36 inches at 300 DPI. So I'm getting the max resolution export as possible. Now if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you. I am gonna make a tutorial on this. It'll be coming out probably next week sometime. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on it but just be sure that you're exporting your photos accordingly or White House Custom Color will just kick it out of the system and it will not even be an option on your website. So the next section I wanna talk about is that White House Custom Color has a minimum sale price of $12. So for example, if you're going to buy a five by seven inch print for $1.53, well, they have a minimum of 12 bucks. So if you're only gonna sell one five by seven inch print to someone, it's no longer $1.53 for that print, it's $12 for that print. And if you wanna sell canvases and metal prints and all these different categories on here, it's gonna be $12 per product outside of the given category. So if somebody comes to my website and orders a five by seven print as well as a 16 by 24 print, then I'm not gonna get charged a random $12. I'm gonna pay for the cost of each of those prints, which would be about 15 to $18, somewhere in that margin. And you don't have to worry about that. But let's say, for example, this five by seven inch print, you might think that $25 is a little steep. It's, pretty, it's a pretty average price across the board from what I've seen. Um, what we have to do here is take that $25, and I use PayPal, so that's a 2.9% uh, fee that PayPal is going to take, which is 73 cents. Uh, and then there's got to be another 30 cents added on top of that. So like 93 cents for PayPal fees. So let's take our $25. So our $25 minus 93 cents means my current profit is 2407. I have to take away the $12 minimum purchase order. So now I'm only making $12.07, but there's also a $7.50 drop shipping fee to send these items out. So for every single five by seven inch print that I sell, I'm only making about $4.57. But that drastically starts to jump up when we get into the other prints. For example, this eight by 12 inch print for 40 bucks, I think I'm making somewhere in the margin of $22 a print for those. And by the time I get to 12 to 18 to 24 by 36, the profit margins are absolutely huge because I think this print here costs around $18. So the math on that, I think I'm still making around 90 bucks or a little more on this print. So you can really make that money on the bigger prints. Just realize that there is a $12 minimum purchase order account for that in your pricing. Now, I also do not charge my clients shipping. I have those shipping costs predetermined and built into the cost of my product. And the reason I do that is because I'm the type of person, anytime free shipping is offered, I think I'm getting a deal instantly and sometimes I'll make or, or not make a purchase based on shipping cost. There's been times that I've seen prints on other photographers' websites that maybe cost 40 bucks, but then they're gonna charge me like an additional $10 for shipping and something psychologically in me breaks and I just don't wanna do that. So. That is totally up to you on that part. So the next thing I wanna talk about, just go through your different settings and set this stuff up. It's super self-explanatory. Make sure you have a proper email address in there in case there are any issues, you can get in touch with people. 
You can set up minimum order amounts. If you want to do shipping, you can set up different shipping lists and pricing there. You can also have other options for your overall layout and display. You could do stuff with addresses. The abandoned carts recovery email is a cool option if you upgrade to, I think, the tier above the one I'm on. I'm on the pro plan. You can set up your terms of use, your refund policy, pretty much everything you would expect from an overall store like this. You can also create discount coupons. So if you want to run promos or discounts on prints, especially if you have actual physical products in your home that you want to get out of the house, run some discount coupons to get rid of them and also entice buyers to buy things. Again, there's the shipping rates, the tax rates and payment methods. For payment methods, I'm just using PayPal. It's what I'm comfortable with. It's what I'm used to and it's what I like. Now, the last thing we want to talk about here is your pricing sheets. Now, these sheets are going to determine what products you have and how much you're going to sell them for and how much you're ultimately going to make off of those. So you can go into product categories and it's going to show you things like prints, digital downloads, canvases, or what have you. You can add more categories to this. You can determine, you know, what goes. There's a lot of customization options is basically what I'm trying to get at. But when you first come into pricing sheets, you're probably going to see one or two options here, one of which will be WHCC, and it'll probably have like 43 products because what it's going to do, let's see, it's going to pull up all the common products that are typically sold with White House Custom Color. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save just to kind of show you here. But we'll go ahead and click into this. And it's going to show us all the different common products, how much they cost, you can set what price you want, and that will show you the total markup. But now for a lot of these cheaper prints, you have to keep in mind that $12 minimum order purchase. So if you're doing this automated system, this four by six inch print is only 78 cents, but in reality, it's gonna cost you $12 plus the 750 in drop shipping fees. So that's why I don't include four by six prints on my website. If I did, I would do this as you're getting like five different prints and like some kind of package deal and then upcharge it so that way I'm still at least making a decent profit. But that's kind of how the list works. You can go through here, you can do bulk markups if you want that, or you can click on each individual item and edit it. But what I would recommend is creating your own list. So what I have here is White House Custom Color Chat Every Day. And these are all the sizes that I want to do. And I do have these as deep matte prints, at least for this particular gallery. And I have my prices and everything set according to research I've done, both on my local audience as well as the general online photography community. Once you get all that done, then you get to finally create your e-commerce gallery. So you just simply do add a new gallery, you type in the name of it, and then you choose what pricing sheet. So you can have multiple pricing sheets for multiple galleries. So if you don't wanna do deep matte prints on everything you do, you could do luster prints, you could add gallery wrap options, all kinds of different things you can do here and just name and set up your sheets accordingly. Once you do that, then you want to go in and upload your full resolution images, as we mentioned, and they'll all be in here in this section. And I think you have to keep the file size below 50 megs. So just keep that in mind. Most of mine are around 30 to 40 megs a piece. So they're pretty beefy files. You can change your design in here. So you can change the layout of the grid. So if you don't want your setup like mine, where it's all nice and neat, you can have floating grids, you can add captions to them. You can make them smaller thumbnails, proof setups. However you wanna do that works for you. And once you get all your design options set, you get all this other st stuff set, you make your store go live and then boom, you have the setup that I do for this automated print shipping, printing process that will hopefully bring you in lots of money or at least make some people's homes pretty with all your photos in it. So I know other shipping and photo printing fulfillment options do exist. I think Smugbug or <laughs> Smugmug and Shutterbug, I think is how those are. They do that as well, but they don't look quite as professional. You don't get to build a full on website like you do in Pixba take uh, control over different options like having a blog, putting on your portfolio. I think this is just a way better option to do things. Now you can also just do prints through White House Custom Color. You don't have to create these galleries. Those options are totally up to you. But hopefully you enjoy this stuff and it is really gonna help you out into automating your print process. 
This was something I researched for about a month or so and just couldn't quite find any options that worked. And this was the first one that really worked out for exactly what I wanted. Hope you enjoyed today's video and like to see more stuff just like this. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to create something new today.